Liverpool 2, Salzburg 0. Welcome back to Cangrose TV. Um, on to the next one. Next round. Let's go. Let's do this. Thoughts? My thoughts, right? When Salzburg first started, I was like, jeez, Salzburg have come to play. But then I backed the team. I thought over 90 minutes, there's no way, there's no way that Salzburg can keep this up for 90 minutes. So I just thought it was a matter of time before Liverpool actually did the business. But hats off to Salzburg because they made it an actually uh, a good, good, good game. And I, I think even the fans expected it, Klopp expected it. Um, but I don't know what your perception was on that, on, on, on Salzburg's performance and how they came. I thought, beginning of the game, I thought, this is a problem. Really? I go, this is a problem. Because the, that Haaland, just, guy's a, he's just a brute, man. He is, he is. And the thing is, he's not only is he strong, but he's actually technically good as well. Uh, Minamito, that Minamito player. I've, seen him, I've only seen him play these two games against Liverpool. I don't know if that is just him hype because he's thinking, if I play well, I'll get a move. If I'm a scout, he's got his move. Really? Because I'm seeing his performances in that game and I'm thinking, whoa, there's a player. He is a player. You talk about Haaland, Haaland yeah. The, the whole game, I'm trying to make out what he actually looks like. I know he's got nothing to do with football, yeah. But he looked like some, some guy from Robocop or, so, or looked like a dolphin or something. He looks like... He no, looks you know, no, he looked like the guy, you know from Rocky? Oh, yeah, the uh, uh, Drago. Drago, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> looks like Drago. But I think it's a question that you were asked as well, right? Um, what premiership team does he fit into best? I yeah, think what, I was, I, what, which Premier League side is yeah. he ready to go into and will he make better now? Mm. That's the question I like to pose to other people because there's no doubt he's ready. There's no doubt in that for he's the ready. Top, for, the top teams. for the top teams, he's ready. He's, his record is, is, is not a joke already. And I'm looking at him as a player and he needs to be in an environment where he is now able... Like, you could say Leicester, for example. Right? You know, mm. There's players at Leicester who are ready to go to that next level. Whether or not Leicester take them there is another... At the moment, yeah, it seems yes. But he's ready to play in the top. For me, as much as I hate to say it, Man United should have the checkbook out and he should be playing for Manchester United as ASAP Rocky because with the the, the strength that they've got from, from wide areas, they're, they're, they're lacking. A, Lukaku, for as frustrating as he was, scored goals. If this guy can score goals like Lukaku did, be in the right place, right time, but also be an absolute problem, which he proves that he is, mate, I think he's ready. So that's the question out to the viewers. So Liverpool finished top of the group. Uh, a lot of people saying they struggled here and here in the, in the whole uh, the Champions League, but at the end of the day, we finished top of the, the group and that's what we needed, right? So... The talking points of this game. Let's start, first of all, with Mo Salah. Now, let's just be... I want people to be honest. First of all, the goal he scored was a complete mazza. Complete mazza to score from that angle. I never, expect, I never expected it, right? <laughs> but, throughout the whole game, I want to hear what Liverpool fans have to say because I was getting pissed. I was actually getting so frustrated with Mo Salah. But then when he did that goal, I was like... <laughs> I, was, I literally... I was like... I was so lucky he didn't type in the groups. I was about to type in the group saying literally trying to slew Salah. So, what did you think of Salah's performance? And is am I, I'm, I'm kind of concerned that I'm saying this. Is Salah's time done at Liverpool? Am I? Am whoa, I, whoa, whoa, no, whoa! <laughs> listen, no, whoa! <laughs> no, listen to what I'm Shit. saying. Listen to what I'm saying. Is, is his time actually done, at Liverpool? I'm, I don't, like, should he be going off to somewhere else, and should we be looking for a replacement? I don't know why I'm even saying this, but I know why you're saying it. I know why you're saying you think it. So? After watching that last video and you gassing up about Sancho this, Sancho that. No, 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 no. That's no. why you're no, no, saying it. No, 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 no. Let's not bring Sancho into that at all. What I'm saying is, before he scored that goal, I was literally throwing my toys at the pram. Maybe it was just me. But I, if, you, if you're Liverpool fans, you need to be own up here and say, was you in the same boat as me? Because I was just getting a bit, a bit irate. Listen, if Liverpool had lost that game yesterday and it didn't progress, he would have been the scapegoat. Not the, scapegoat, uh, he'd be getting slewed because... Just let me finish. Go on. There, there is someone you always need to pin the blame on somebody, and it would have been easy to pin the blame on him because he missed such big chances. Mm. Yeah, but now I'm telling you now, you can. I'm. I'm. I don't obviously speak for them, but as a from a defender's perspective, when you've got a forward mm. that can continuously get into positions like that, continuously, whether he scores or misses, it is frustrating when he misses because as a defender, it's under so much scrutiny because a deflection and it goes in and you lose one 0 I get that. But when you've got an out ball like that every time. You can hit it up to him and he'll hold people off. Yes, he has been slightly wasteful with his opportunities. That's me putting it very lightly. And it is frustrating and I was losing my mind at okay. times. Okay. But there you're not going to find, I'm telling you now, across Europe, mm. a player who is consistently in positions like that, who can pin, a, who can pin big centre-backs, who can run you, who can come short, who score can beat from, you. Who can score from corner flex. This is what I'm saying. Yeah. So as frustrating as it is and it's easy at the time to start getting annoyed, but... You could 
there's clubs across Europe will snap your hand off to have him because he does he he makes any team better. Yeah, and, all and, the runs, the passes, the movement. Yeah, and I'm not I, phenomenal. I, I'm definitely not denying that the guy's abilities. I'm not def I'm definitely not denying that at all. Um, but I'm just saying, like you touched on a bit before as well. Like we you have a discussion off off YouTube was uh, about his body language. Like sometimes you're just saying that like, he just throwing his arms around. He like he doesn't really care. Is that is that what you, is that what you're going at? Or you... I don't think. I, I, yeah, I mean, I've I have said it to yeah. you in the sense that if I see any of the front three going, I do think it will probably be him. Okay. Because I just think out of the three, he's probably the most high profile, mm -hmm. and like in the sense that he you know he's he's had a few moves. He's a big he's a big big dog, and he's done it. You know he's a, he's done madness really. Mm. If you put it in perspective, he has done madness yeah, yeah, in his time yeah. at Liverpool, and I almost do sometimes feel like. If you look at Firmino yesterday, he had every right to throw his toys out when Keita didn't flip that ball in. He could have turned around and could have gone mad. He could have, well, like, what are you playing at? I could do with a goal sort of thing. Just kind of went, yeah, I'm frustrated, but on to the next thing. Just move, keep it moving. Sadio Mane, yeah, he, he flipped out. But maybe because it's like, well, this means, it seems to mean a lot more to us than it does to you. Because sometimes you turn around and say, so what? Do me something. What are you going to say to me? That's what I feel like Mo Salah gets like sometimes. It's just like, well, you can moan all you want, but what can you actually do to me? Because mm. without me... This thing don't run. <laughs> That's kind of what it is. So, I, like I said, from a defender's perspective, having someone like that, even you know, at every opportunity, you can clip the ball. You can go feet, go chest, in behind. I don't think there's many players in the world who are as good at all three facets as he is. No, I totally agree with that. Next, next uh, topic of discussion. Uncle Nabi. <laughs> Uncle Nabi has arrived. He's not uncle no more, he's cousin. <laughs> Cause, he's now cousin Nabi. Curse. What up, Curse? No, but listen, <laughs> Nabi Keita, that header, brilliant header. But not just the header, his performance again. Like we touched on it earlier, the way he takes the ball away from defenders at the very last minute. Yeah, come, and, come, come, whoop. And, that's it. Yeah. And, the, and, the, and, the, and the spaces he finds, this is what we thought that we were buying when, he, when we first arrived. I said it, I think I said it to you, but we, I'm going to reserve judgment. I'm, reserve, I'm still doing still that. Doing that yeah. I'm still doing that. Don't get me wrong, because listen, he's had a couple of good games. Yeah, yeah? that's not And good. an injury might come, and that sets you back months, right? And fame for Fabino. Klopp did say, when I buy a player, I don't buy him for this season, I buy them for the season after, and, and I get all that fine. The performances that he has showed, and even that glimpse in the Man United game when he came on, that's what we've been looking for. He looks fitter, sharper, everything. But the, 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 the thing to keep in mind is, it is difficult for a player to get to that speed and acclimatise when you're in and out of the team and you're not fit and you're getting injured and stuff. So give him his dues and he's getting fit, obviously. But yesterday, he looked quicker. He looked more he agile. Did. Yeah, I saw, I saw him run through the middle. That The layoff that he did for Salah, for the, the, the chance that he missed to sit there, he should have just slid into the corner. That was Naby running straight down to the middle and then laying it off for Salah. Yeah. So definitely agree with you uh, on that. Um, but ha having said that, uh, I think hats off to Klopp for using the, to, using the, the squad right. Mm. And this is the perfect time to use it because this was meant to be our toughest month and it still is. And the way we've started this month has been very good, right? Not just the month, but I mean the, the nine fixtures that we've got together all cl clapped together. We've got three wins now. Um, and then we've got what Watford, Leicester and Wolves, uh, yeah, and right? The, and, and the, the two, club and championship. The, and, the club yeah. championship and, the, and the Villa game, right? So I'm very happy the way we're using this squad right now um, and it's paying off Liverpool. And I hope Naby can now can just can continue that form to help us through this stage because it is important. Question for you and our question for that for everybody else now is Dejan Lovren, is this a concern? In what aspect? The guy is walking wounded. Mm. He's not fit. He's not fit. Played well, he did, but he's yeah. not fit. Yeah. Uh, do you now just say to Joe Gomez, this is your time? Well, uh, you've got no choice at the moment. You've got no choice. Yeah, I, I, think, I don't think you've got any choice, but I also think that this timing could be a blessing in disguise because we've been crying out for well you was crying out for it before that the number one priority should be oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah a little set of someone called Kulubali Kalidu <laughs> so that would be a blessing in disguise and the way that Ancelotti is now gone uh, from Napoli oh but, but let me just jump in there Napoli progressed to the next stage <laughs> and my man lost his job <laughs> what mm? What? It's a buzzer. It's and a also, buzzer. if Arsenal do not go and get Ancelotti, you ain't got to pay nothing. He's available. He's lived in London. If you don't get Ancelotti, yeah, you're mad. Yeah. You're As mad. an organisation, you're mad. <laughs> and I've got no sympathy for Arsenal fans from there on. If you do not go out there and get Ancelotti, fuck Arsenal. Exactly, That's because saying. the structure of their club is they all talk about they want to spend money on bringing managers out of contracts. Red. Legu's been sitting around for a year on, with no income. Nothing coming into the bank, yeah? He's available. Didn't get him. This guy has lost his job. He's been in London 
Arsenal need somebody proven. That's your guy. Go and get your guy. If you don't get him, I'm done with Arsenal. I'm, I don't want to hear it no more. And I'm sorry, yeah, like, they're mentioning Everton's name in this, <laughs> in this debate. Like, no offence to Everton, yeah. Come but, on now. <laughs> well, come on now. Come on now. And they, they, goes, they, said, they goes, Moyes, <laughs> em- Emery, <laughs> yeah, or Ancelotti. Please. Please. Put some respect on Ancelotti's name, please. <laughs> <laughs> like you said, yeah, no offence here, but come on now. Don't, just, just come on now. All right, anyway, back to the topic, yeah, of discussions. Sadio Mane. Uh, Mane? Mane. Causing havoc. Just give him the Ballon d'Or now. <laughs> he's causing absolute havoc, and his consistency is nuts. Stand up performer every single time. Um, and he literally wears the, the badge on his, uh, on his uh, chest. But when he plays, literally Heart everything. On his sleeve, everything. Do you know what the, the thing about, I, I love about him is, I think before, his biggest threat was he'd stand you up. And then run you. Yeah. yeah. Now, he's actually like, no, fuck standing you up. I'm just going to run you. I'm going to dribble and run you because you can't. I'm stronger than you. His confidence is And I'm mad. quicker than you. Yeah, yeah. Mad. Absolute madness. And hopefully, and I, I, listen, I hate to say I told you so, but I told you so. Couple, if you go back through the videos, I did say Salah had his year. Firmino had his year. This guy is due and it will be his year. As frustrating as he can be, I've always said you can't go into a game without him. I've always said that. As frustrating as he is, right? And this is why. Because... You keep doing the right things over and over again, it, you will, it will pay off. Luis Suarez, first season, everyone was like, he's a dud. You remember that? Everyone said he keeps hitting the bar, he's, he's only scored this many goals. But in my head, I'm like, well, he's hit the bar and post more than anybody, right? So a millimetre either side, there's a goal, right? And then look what happened. This guy, same thing, I'm sorry, he, he's, got, he's got to be top, top three players in Europe at the moment. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think any team would take him right now in the whole world. Um, I just, I just touched on all the topics that were for discussion, but I think what I'm going to say next is proves to me why this team is so good. There are too many unsung heroes in this team. Now, I can go and pick out four or five players that are unsung heroes, yeah? I'm just going to go straight into it. Go I'm going to jump in and I'm going to say Alison Becker, yesterday, double save. It's actually crazy. It's actually crazy, yeah? It's just like... The guy senses danger. Don't get me wrong, that handball a couple of weeks ago, I did look at it and think, hmm? mm-hmm. but I'm looking at what he did yesterday. Made an unbelievable save, right? Which was a very good save when the guys cut back and he's got up, closed the angle down, made another save. And then towards the end of the game, when they're popping off shots, one at the near post of Haaland as well. But when they're popping off shots, it's straight in. There's not parrying it. There's no, there's no spillages, corners. He's coming to collect it. He's very decisive. Listen, People can say, oh yeah, Liverpool spent big money on, you know, two players. But those two players yesterday, Virgil van Dijk, early on in the game, earned his P for me. The Liverpool fans have just got so used to it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. And you can't, and you've you got to be, you've you got to be, you got to put yourself out of that bubble because you can't get too used to it because mm. these people will make mistakes and that will happen. Yeah, of course. But it's great to see that the level is set so high because it drags people up with you. Yeah. You then send to Lovren, player, you've got to get to this level because if you're not, Koulibaly's coming. The thing is, it, it, was, it was just seasons ago where the goalkeeper would be spilling and then the pressure would be uh, coming on for Liverpool. And now it's just safe as houses. Adrian right? did the same thing the other day. He came on, first thing he did was spill it. Yeah. It's because it's natural. It's, it's goalkeepers, it's and what then, happens. And then the other two players I want to mention is Bobby Firmino and Genie. I can't believe still that people are still, till this day, yeah, question Bobby Firmino. Like yesterday, oh, he's not scoring enough goals. Right, right, right. You're mad. You're absolutely mad. And Gini Wijnaldum, as you mentioned yesterday, class. Every single week, doing his, he's doing his classic role in defenders yeah. and all this kind of stuff. But I, I, I've got to give it props. I've got. To, I, I'm give this guy a stick a lot. When I say stick, I'm not. It's not stick's the wrong word. I have my concerns as to, or, or I have of the opportunity to replace a player. But Jordan Henderson of late, Jordan Henderson. yeah, mate. Energy yesterday was a joke. He's, the, Vision. He's actually, passing. yeah, he's passing. He's got, because people expect him to try and play this long ball all the time, all of a sudden, that five-yard pass that, he's, that, that we, well, I thought we were going to miss from Fabinho, he's finding it. And I'm thinking, yes. It's, I like this. This is what I'm saying. It's, unsung yeah. heroes now. Yeah. And you look at the whole squad. So, that was a great form to Liverpool. We're through to the next stage. Monday is the draw. I look forward to it. For me, like I said, because we won it last year, and I was saying it last year anyway, bring anyone. I literally, I don't care now about missing, uh, because just especially because we won last year, I don't care about missing certain teams. It's not even that. Anyone. It's the Champions League. Yeah. If you want to win the Champions League, you've got to beat the best teams. So, so it is what it is. Do you know what I mean? It's like you, you can't sit there and think, well, oh, I hope we miss them and I hope we miss them because you're going to have to play them at some point. Mm. So, you know. Buzzing about that. There's a few points that we've, that we've made and asked Haaland, where do you reckon he should, you know, is he ready for the Prem? Where should he go? 
Um, Ancelotti. Ancelotti. <laughs> I mean, what? Uh, and who's, who's your man in the match yesterday? I'm going to give it Naby again. I'm going to give it Naby again. I was just impressed with his performance. And I'm, I'm going to go a bit left field here, but for me it was Alisson. So I just think, I just felt that in moments of the game where <clears throat> it could have got away from us, That's he fair. kept us right in the game. So for me, it was Alisson. Asking, I'll ask the viewers as well what are your thoughts uh, and I really look forward to hearing your thoughts on, on, on what we've discussed. So cool. don't forget to share, like, subscribe and comment. Peace.